hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to be talking about html and html semantics so uh, if you are a new member and you haven't subscribed please go subscribe now i upload daily videos based around programming with html css and javascript upload daily videos so if you haven't subscribed i'll be waiting for you to subscribe you have three seconds to subscribe press hit the subscribe button so i guess you've subscribed now without further ado let's get into it before we start what is HTML? HTML basically stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And I'm going to be teaching the latest version of HTML, which is HTML5. HTML5 is the latest version of HTML. There are other, the other lang um, HTML versions. We had the HTML, XML, which are old, old languages. So, it has many new features and upgrades. HTML5 has a complete new and semantic structure to create a web page. You get to know what these semantic structures are in a few minutes. HTML5 has new form elements and input types. So in HTML5, we have new form elements such as date of birth. You can select on date of birth, you can select range using HTML5 forms. There are various input types in HTML5 presently. HTML5 can validate form from client side by using easier and faster methods. HTML5 has created an opportunity for programmers to validate their forms without the necessary need of JavaScript. So HTML5 has a way that you can send messages through your client site without adding any custom javascript you can also make you can also make phone calls through your website using html5 only another feature that html5 has is that html5 has a new audio and video tab so before html5 html5 had no standard this app sorry had no standard for media elements that means we had to play we had to play the audio and video using flash player but now in html5 we don't need that now html5 html5 tag has a great element called canvas where you can draw your images with javascript so in html5 you can now create games by drawing using canva and with this canva you need your javascript so i think you've seen some of the new features that html5 has well so um i think we should get into our sub our text editor and start programming so now we're in our vs code and to generate to generate the normal html so we just click exclamation mark and enter so what this is saying is the document type is html this is a html document so this feature is for html5 only this is saying you're programming in english language so we're using english to write our code this is the head the head is basically where okay i'll show you i'll show you what the head stands for immediately i open the browser the doc the title the title is the name of your web page so let's give this a title of online 
HTML5 crash course. Now, I told you that HTML5 has no semantic tags. So, what's the difference between the semantic tags and the old tag that we're using on HTML before? So, when you want to create a web page in HTML before, you have to create divs. Yes, a div is where you store your where you store what you want to code in a particular section of your website. So let's assume we're creating a web page now. You have to you need to create a div, and now there's something called IDs and class. ID is basically the name you give to a tag. It could be a div tag, it could be a paragraph tag can be a span tag so id is basically the name you give to a tag to style it in your css it's like a reference name that you use to style in your css so let's say we're creating a web page before html5 was made we would have to give this an id of container then we come here again make another div give this an id of header Let's just generate a random text saying this is a header. Definitely after your header in a website, you need to have a section. So you create another div, give it an ID section. So like if you show a programmer this it looks kind of rough we have a div 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 so html5 has created new semantic tags that make your work easier and it makes it look neater so with html5 you can just create a header tag simple saying this is the header and we have the section tag these are the new semantic tag that comes with html5 so definitely in a website we have um, navigation area so the navigation area comes the navigation area comes immediately after the header so this is the nav and in the section we in the section of the website we definitely have subheading so we can give this a header also and okay Let's open this in our live server to see how it is. For you to open, just right click. You see, open with live server. Click it, and the live server will run. So, this is how it is. Let me show you what this would look like in a styled version. So in this website you can see this is the navigation area, this is a header, and this is a section. So as you scroll down, you see another sec subsection with a subheader, which is this founder, and another side section which is this image. This is a more modern website. You can see this is the navigation area. This is a header. This is this is a subheader. As we scroll down, we see another section, which is the about us section. And this is a side tag. This image right here is a side tag. And as you can see in this about section, you have a subheading. 
so that's what we're trying to do so we're back on our vs code so as you can see i just showed you in a website you need to have a section a subsection in this subsection we are going to have a header a site tag and an aside tag so let's create a site tag let's generate a random text let's do this paragraph generate a random text just type lorem and enter it automatically generates random text let's make this h2 now let's check our browser right click open live server So this is the H2, this is the aside tag. So if you want to add an image, definitely we'll have another aside tag inside this section. Let's give this another paragraph saying this is another aside tag. see it appearing here so if, if you want to make it in like if you want to make it like something like this it's just your custom CSS you just have to do the styling so let's jump back to our VS code now that we've seen the new features that HTML5 has let's jump into uh, some some text features that HTML5 has to offer. Welcome back and in this video we're going to be talking about HTML text. So I told you that HTML5 has some new features so I'm going to be showing you the new text features that HTML5 has to offer. First of all we're going to look at abbreviation. So you can clear this off from the previous class. Okay. Okay, you can leave the container deep now so HTML5 has some new features now you can abbreviate your text in HTML5 so let's create a simple paragraph tag let's abbreviate um, let's say professor now this is the okay Now, for you to abbreviate something, you need to write the abbreviation tag, which is A B B R. It stands for abbreviation. So you give the name of the full the full name of what you want to abbreviate. So, for instance, this prof stands for professor. So, just type in your professor. And take this you put it in the application tag so let's just create a random text prof is in the um, let's say hall save open on live server Now, when you hover on this prop, you can see the full text is appearing below. It's appearing below. If you can see this, let me hope it's clearer. You see it's appearing below prop in the hall. So, that's how to create an abbreviation tag. So, you can also abbreviate longer words longer words let's say nasa for instance 
Now let's go into acronyms. Acronyms. So we just saw how to make abbreviations, but let's go into acronyms now. For you to create an acronym tag, just type in. Okay, you can see that it's appeared below acronym. So let's say national. NASA, let's say NASA. NASA is holding a major event real soon. So let's check our brother. Okay. NASA is holding a major event real soon and when you hover on this NASA you can see the full name appears below now I know you must be wondering why do you need to write acronyms so you need to make your website user friendly so sometimes you might you might need to be informal but at the same time to show that you are serious about what you are doing it's good to have this acronym tag so you show like you're serious like you know what you're doing to the formal guys when a formal person wants to check out your website he knows this person is serious about what he or she is doing but you can also have the the acronyms for to make it user friendly you don't want to write out the full the full name you cannot just write national aeronautics and space administration it's whole you know you can simply write this out and it's easier for you instead of writing it in a bracket so those are the new features html5 has to offer now i'll be taking more of html um i think in the next two videos we should have covered html5 and we'll move to css so thank you for watching this video stay tuned and goodbye